Hello again, and welcome to a video that is going to be completely different than anything you're used to seeing on this channel. This video, quite honestly, will be pure, unadulterated chaos. Ugh. Inside this rather small but extremely dense 50 pound box is over a hundred cell phones that I bought from eBay for around 200 bucks. They were listed as untested, which is usually eBay seller speak for none of these phones work. But nevertheless, I bought them anyway because I'm a sucker and I'm stupid and I wanted to open a huge box of phones because I thought that would be fun. From what I could tell from the listing, it, it seemed like most of these phones are from the era just before I became a tech YouTuber. So I think it'd be fun to open these up, plug them in, see if they work. And I think it'd be hilarious and slightly embarrassing to try and name these phones when I have absolutely no idea what they they were called at the time. So, without further ado, let's get to unboxing. Lies like a pizza. By the way, you can pick up my pull tab unboxing shirt in the description below. Every purchase will support the channel and I will thank you eternally for it. And you'll have a cool shirt. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, that's not a phone right off the bat. That's a tablet. This is quite literally just a box of phones with no protection or wrapping on it. I, I don't know why they even bothered with the bubble wrap when they were just gonna shove the phones in the box like this anyway. I mean, if the phones weren't broken before this, they probably are now. <sighs> All right, let's give this a shot. Ugh. First phone. It's not actually a phone. It's a Galaxy tablet of some sort. Uh, this is, oh, the names are failing me already. This is the Galaxy Tab S1. <laughs> Yep, that's that's what it is. Looks like it's got a micro SD card slot. This thing is nasty. It's so dirty. I don't like it. It doesn't turn on, which doesn't necessarily mean it's broken because these phones have actually been sitting in a box for like the past six months or so. Uh, next up is, uh, mm. oh, it's a ZTE phone. This phone's name is the ZTE Inspire. <laughs> I mean, this one doesn't look too broken. I mean, yeah, it's a bit messed up on the sides. I'm hoping that's not from the battery trying to push its way through. It's got a micro USB charging port, so we might be able to get this working. So what I've got done over here in the corner of my desk is I've just got a bunch of cables. I'm gonna plug it in and see if anything happens. Nothing, huh? All right, well, let's just leave that plugged in for a moment or two and see if that charges up. Oh my goodness, Craig? <laughs> Craig, what is this? This is like a, a an iPhone 4 knockoff. Craig 8 gigabyte MP3 plus video player. I have never seen anything like this and I never want to see anything like this ever again. That is amazing. Thanks, Craig. Ooh, all right, we got another LG phone. Let's remove the screen protector real quick. Okay, great, glass flying. Yeah, that's, that's what we want. What is this screen protector put on with? Super glue. This is the LG, oh wow, fingerprint reader. Okay, so we've got, um, we're at least that far along in tech. What are LG's phones called? Or what were LG's phones called? RIP LG. They called them V, didn't they? This is the LG V10. <laughs> that's, that's what this phone is. That's going in the pile. But first I wanna plug it in and see if it works. <gasps> It works. We've got a phone that works. It just says charge more before turning on. All right, so we got at least one working phone out of this. Heck yes, man, let's go. Oh my goodness, I see Microsoft. I see Microsoft. Is this a Windows phone? This has to be a Windows phone. And it's got a screen protector on it. Look at that. Look at that. That is basically a brand new screen. Thank you, whoever put the screen protector on their phone. You are amazing. This is some sort of Windows phone for sure. So confession, I have never owned a Windows phone. That was before my time as a tech YouTuber. So I was hoping one of the phones in this box would be a Windows phone and one of them would work. This is the Microsoft X Power. <laughs> I, I think this phone's issue is actually the charging port. That actually I might be able to fix. A few minutes later. The Windows phone works! I just played around with the port. It looks like the, the, the port might have been just a little bit plied up, but it works! This might be an extremely hot take, but the Windows phone was ahead of its time. I still really like this UI and I would love to see a new updated version of Windows Phone. Maybe like Windows Phone 11. This was, I believe, Windows Phone 8.1. It just needs some updating, I think. I'll put you away for now. We'll, we'll play with you again later. Next up is, oh my goodness, Treo. 
Oh, this is a palm phone? I'm guessing this is just called the Palm Treo. That's, that's my guess. Oh yeah, removable phone back. Ooh, that phone, ooh, that battery is toast. If you see any batteries like that, yeah, you, you're gonna wanna dispose of them properly because that could explode and that's no fun for anybody. What else we got? All right, this is an interesting phone. Um, we <laughs> Oh, oh, Gigi. This is an oh, Gigi phone. You know, I'm starting to think I got ripped off. I'm, I'm starting to think $200 was a bit too much to pay for, for oh, Gigi. <laughs> Whoa. This looks like a Nexus tab of some sort. It's big enough to be like a, oh, it's a ZTE. Feels quite nice too, actually. It's got a fingerprint reader on the back. Interesting, very interesting. This is the ZTE Access. And it's called the Access because it was their first phone with a fingerprint reader. Huh? Huh? Yeah? <laughs> Didn't convince me either. Oh, I see something fun. Man, people have some really strange tastes in cases. This looks like an iPod Touch to me, but touch is not something I want to do to it at the moment. I cannot describe to you the amount of filth and stickiness that some of these phones have. Like this one literally looks and feels like someone picked their nose and rubbed it all over the phone. It is nasty. Ah, here's a tablet I'm familiar with. Okay, so if I called that one the Tab S1, this has gotta be like the Tab S2, right? This is the Galaxy Tab S2. Usually if a phone uh, gets plugged in and then you hit the power button, it will immediately at least say, you know, you need to charge up the battery a bit more. Like that, exactly like that. I planned that, that was perfectly on time. It looks like this tablet works. Galaxy Tab 3. I was close. Hey, three's better than two. I'll take it. Man, this display is actually not that bad. I, I, I was expecting quite a bit worse, but it's, it's nice and sharp at least. Look at Angry Birds, the old, Instagram logo. All right, I, I, I've had quite enough with this. That's fantastic. I love the fact that this thing works. We're gonna put that to the side. Hello. Oh, this is a, uh, oh man, this, this phone's been through the ringer. This is the HTC One. Oh, oh, that's not good. See that, see that little, that little gap? That means the battery is uh, bulging and lifting. That's not good. Um, I probably don't want to plug this in. Oh boy, what else we got? Uh, we're gonna have to go through these more rapidly. Let's, three phones out here. We got another LG, um, another ZTE. <laughs> it's a cool pad. It's a cool pad. Apple, you better beware. Cool pad's coming for your market share, my friend. Let's pick up a phone. Oh, here we go. Uh, this looks like a plus phone for sure. This is the Galaxy Note 2. Wow, I have never seen a Note 2 in person. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like the S Pen is uh, still within the phone. It might be somewhere in this box maybe, but I really want this thing to work. Let's uh, let's, let's hit the power button and see what happens. Nada, nada happens. Uh, all right, let's, oh, hello. I see a familiar phone. Or actually, I think this is an iPod. No, it's an iPhone. This is an iPhone 4, I believe. Yeah, the phone screen's a bit smashed, but hey, it doesn't seem to turn on, which is not surprising. But uh, if I can find a 30 pin connector, I would very much like to see if this thing works because it's got a pretty well perfect back to it. Oh, hey, look. Ha <laughs> ha. It's, uh, it's an iPod Touch Nano. <laughs> I have never had one of these. I am glad this is in the box. I don't know if it works yet, but I have never had an iPod Touch Nano. It's like the original like Apple Watch joke, you know? Although I believe it's a 30 pin connector, which is going to be a bit of a nuisance. I'm gonna have to go find one of those, but I think I do have one lying around. Oh, we've got more of those actually, except these are, um, these are the original, are these the Nanos? Yeah, so these are iPod Nanos, I believe, and these are iPod Touch Nanos, I think. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure about that. Again, these both were before my time. Oh, this is a straight up iPhone 6, I believe. Huh, and it looks to be in good condition. Do I have a lightning charger around here somewhere? Let's see if this turns on. I would love for this to, look at that. That's, that's fantastic. I wasn't expecting to get like an actual half decent phone in this pile of essentially sticky trash. <laughs> Another, it's, it's, is this the first? <gasps> yes, yes. When I was a teenager, my first smartphone was one like this. It was an LG Xenon and it flipped just like that. 
Oh, that is so nostalgic. I'm, I'm gonna say this is the first Samsung Galaxy S. It's just Samsung Galaxy S. Uh, let's plug this right in the top. Ooh, we got lights. Okay, so it does work to some degree. Let's uh, let's leave it plugged in, see what happens. And there's one more left in the box. There's an LG, I gotta name this one because it's the last one. Uh, this is an LG Space. LG Space. <laughs> That's the box. The box is fully empty. I've got uh, a bunch of MP3 players, some iPod Touch Nanos and iPod Touches. I've got some uh, a plethora of the same ZTE phone for whatever reason. I've got a bunch of iPhone or a couple of iPhone 4s that I can definitely get working if I, you know, swap parts around here and there. I've got some uh, weird SanDisk MP3 players. I got a working Windows phone, which makes the whole thing worth it in my opinion. Is that it? Oh yeah, I got a, a Galaxy, a somewhat modern Galaxy Tab. I say modern, but this is probably from like 2013 or 2014. That's that's what I got. That's what I paid over 200 US dollars for. Uh, let me know in the comments below whether it was worth it and let me know what I should do with all of the phones that don't work. I mean, obviously the, the right thing to do would be to recycle them if they have no use, but if you can think of a use for them, let me know in the comments down below. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day.